guys, how are you? I hope you are okay. Have you ever been asked to control the chilled water fan cool unit from the KNX installation? The client tell you for a commercial or residential building, you need to control the lighting and shutters and curtains from the KNX and the remaining will come from BMS and suddenly he tell you, no, we need to control the chilled water fan cool unit from your system. So we will have one keypad to control the lighting, the curtains, and the AC because he doesn't need to see a separate thermostat and the keypad for lighting and curtain. They need all to be combined in one device. Is it, it can be done? Of course it can be done. Only you need is three devices. The first one is the fan cone unit actuator. The second device is the thermostat. And the third device is a temperature sensor, which will start sensing the temperature and send to a thermostat to act accordingly. To get it short, 90% of the thermostats in the market have an integrated temperature sensor. So two out of three devices now in one device. Now we will speak about the chilled water fan cool unit actuator. In my hand now, there is one of the fan cool unit actuators, which personally I like so much. It's from brand EAE, it's from Turkey. It has all the configurations that you need in any fan cool unit actuator. It has three speed fan. If you have an AC motor, which the fan came with zero to 10, it has an output for it. It has a on off valve, open close valve, zero to 10 valve for cooling coil and for heating coil. It has an auxiliary contact. If you have an external heater, it has two inputs here for a temperature sensor. If you need an extra temperature sensor, it has some inputs here. Maybe you can use for a drip tray monitoring. Maybe you can use in a door contact, in a window contact, in any contact that you need. For example, if this contact is closed, the fan call unit is having a specific scenario like to turn it off or to go to a specific temperature and specific fan speed. So this device, you need to have one per each fan call unit. There is two types of installation for this one. Maybe some people are preferring to put it in a small enclosure beside the fan call unit. And some people are preferring to put all the fan call units in a one panel in the floor, for example, so that they can have an easy maintenance if there is a maintenance in the future. Now we speak about this device. A lot of other manufacturers, they have the same. They have uh, three fan speed, zero to 10 speed, cooling coil, heating coil, two pipe system, four pipe system, everything. Now we are going to the second device or the second and third device, which is temperature, sensor integrated in a KNX thermostat. Now, this device is from Merton Schneider Electric. It has only a KNX terminal from here, and it has eight buttons. The eight buttons are free programmable, and two buttons beside right and left of the screen of the thermostat, so that you can increase and decrease the temperature. For example, you can have an on-off for the fan cool unit, you can change the fan speed from here and O2, of course, you can have the mood. For example, if there is a fan cool unit, have the moods, this cooling mood, the heating mood, the dry mood, the fan mood, whatever the mood that you need. And you have another free programmable button so you can have the lighting and curtains and whatever other scene that the client needs. So you achieve what exactly the client need and instead of have one keypad for lighting and curtains and one thermostat, he need to combine them in one device. And I think this is a good solution for it. Definitely it doesn't come alone. It should come with a specific frame. Schneider have a variety of frames, plastic, metal, and other solutions. You can check in their website. I'm so happy to be with you today. And I hope that this episode is very good for you. Um, Stay here, just follow me. I'm Magnum KNX, my name is Sharif Saad. All the content in this episode or in this channel will be only for KNX system. Follow me and wait for me for the next episode. See ya.